So a couple of weeks ago, I found this nice little hidden gem on Steam that I have been addicted to for the little bit of time I've been playing it. And I wanted to share a little review with you guys and spread some love for this game, especially for those of you out there that love pixel art games like I do. So Seablip is a pixel pirate game that brings together aspects of Sid Meier's Pirates and Stardew Valley into one simple and surprisingly fun pirate game. While the game's still in early development, only released last month, still in early access, it still has plenty to do with developers always putting out new updates that expand the game, they're expanding what can be done, expanding the adventures, and finishing out what will be a great game when it is finished. So like I said, this game is still in early access, still developing, but so far the overall game that is accessible is great. From the animation, to the artwork, to the battle sequences, to the storylines that are already in place, and the potential storylines that are waiting to, be, waiting to be finished written, the game is all overall exciting. And I really cannot wait for them to finish it and get the full game out. For me, with pirate games in the past, it's always been the battle sequences that have made or broken a game. This one, I think, does a really good job with the battle sequences not being overwhelming and not being too much of a pain with its Advanced Wars kind of feel to it with the side-by-side -side split screen when it comes to combat. In the beginning, the combat can kind of feel a little clunky until you get the hang of it. I do like the fact that you can stop combat, make adjustments as you need to during the battle, and it's not turn-based. Once you start the fight, the fight is ongoing from both sides. And the only real advantage you have is being able to stop time, make your adjustments, and then start time again, and hope those adjustments work out for you. The other aspect that I do like about the combat sequence is the random events that will happen depending on where you are when you start the fight. Random events like icebergs crashing into your ship, shark attacks on your crew, mermaids distracting your crew, storms lighting your ships on fire all seem to be pretty random thanks to the RNGesus, but it does seem that when once one ship starts getting hit with these random events, it's just that ship that takes most of the random event damage. So if it's your ship, good luck. If it's their ship, congratulations. Should help you in these battles. So far, the majority of the storyline in this game is the beginning when it talks about your grandfather and the opening sequences of the game to get you kind of into the game itself. Once you get past that part of the game, the main storylines are not quite finished. There are bits and pieces of them in there. The longest parts of the storyline that you're going to get into are the bounties when you're hunting other pirates for whatever reason from uh, different islands and from the different factions in the game. So far that seems to be where most of the focus is on the storyline is just getting the bounties done, which don't get me wrong, that's what the game is about. Out there hunting pirates, being a pirate, being on the seas, fighting. So you will have fun with the bit of storyline that is complete. And don't misunderstand, once you've completed what is completable in the game, the game is not over. You can continue playing, you can continue hunting, you can continue fighting, you can continue doing what you need to do out there. And you can spend the next 200 hours on this game just hunting down other ships and collecting money, waiting for an update. So right now, the obvious downside is the lack of long gameplay content when it comes to Seablip. And with the lack of completable missions, it can get a little frustrating when you're like me and you get invested into a quest and then all of a sudden it stops dead center saying that the developer is still working on the content. That can get a little frustrating, but overall, it's not going to hurt you too much when it comes to those parts of the game in its current state. A couple more aspects of the game that don't seem to be finished is the farming aspect and the building of your home island. You will get the messages about building up your defenses, putting guards on your island, Farming for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be an aspect of the game just yet that you need to worry about or even focus on. So overall, the game, it's a fun little pixel game, and if you are a pirate game fan, this is going to be a must-have for your collection. If you're a pixel game fan, this is going to be a must-have for your collection. My personal outlook on this game is over time, with updates, with tweaks to the system, it will be a very successful game. I'm looking forward to seeing what the new updates are going to be. I'm looking forward to seeing the finished, polished product when it comes to the end of this. And I believe right now, it may not be worth the 
full price that you can get it for on Steam, I would suggest waiting for a sale. I know at the posting of this video it is on sale, but who knows how long that's going to last. I would say wait for a sale in the near future and snag it while it's cheap and just enjoy the updates as they come. And that's it. That's my overview review of CBLIP. Take it for what it is at the moment. Still under development is what it is fun game and that's it uh thank you guys for hanging out hanging around to listen to my two cents reviews and i hope it helps i hope it helps you make a decision if you're into these kind of games it's a must have don't forget to grab it while it's on sale and hey if i helped you tip the scale one way or the other feel free to subscribe for some more reviews on hidden gems that i just happened to find on steam everything on sale until next time enjoy your gaming